Hey, what's up guys? Poly Popo here with another video. Um, I really want to get into how to make scenes on the Akai Force and all that, but a lot of people have been asking me questions about, and I think the biggest question about the Akai Force is, can you save your performance? And the answer is yes. So that's what I'm going to cover on this video here real quick. You know, I got a big old bright light back there, but I think it's good luck. So, uh, like I said, I want to go over how to create different things on here and all that. But for right now, I'm just going to use a demo project. I'm just going to use this one here. I've never had, I haven't heard it or anything. And here we go. It's going to load. And I, I do appreciate you guys for watching and leaving the comments because I do like doing this stuff. The camera's not going to be as crisp on this. My cell phone camera is kaput. But the audio is going to be a lot better. Okay, so this looks overwhelming whenever you first look at it. But if you just take it like the same way, if you've seen any of my NPC videos, the way that I work where I take one sequence of like nine tracks and then I'll copy that sequence over and then mute out different parts. The same workflow right here. Just look at it like this, where all that is one song. And then it just muted out different parts and it just shows you what parts are muted out on the grid. So it's banger, dude. But the question was, can you save your work? So yes, check this out. We're gonna head up to menu and go to sample it, right? Uh, under the max length, you can sample up to, I think 15 minutes, right? I got mine set for 4 minutes and 20 seconds. I don't think you guys can see that real quick. Can you see that? So you, you can actually set that for, for as long as, you, I think it's 15 minutes or something like that. But most songs were about 4 minutes, so I thought I'd be funny and put it for 420 on here for everybody. Okay, so what we're going to do, and the reason I love this thing is because it's got, it, it, it's got like three different brains in it, man. Let me show you. This always does whatever this is going to do. These always do what these are going to do, and this always does what this is going to do. This breaks down into three different parts also, so it gets deeper and deeper the more you learn into it. Okay, so... First thing we're gonna do, we got this set for four minutes and 20 seconds. We're gonna hit arm and we're just gonna juggle through these. And this is a demo, this is not me. I'm just going through the different scenes. So let's say this was two minutes later. This, this is a banger song too, man, I like it. Okay, cool. So now we got that. We got a new sample. We'll name it uh, Recorded. And hit do it. And go ahead and put this on. Uh, it's got to be on track four under percussion kit. And assign to pad A1. And we're going to keep it. So go to here, A1. Track edit. Anyway, stop. But you see what we did? We went to that sample and we got this recorded now. And it's long. It's I mean it could have been two minutes or four minutes and twenty seconds. So yeah, real quick answer to that. And then these Q links here. I wanna go over this more, but for right now, if you hold down knobs, it gives you a whole page. Uh, volume pan project track and screen. If you hit screen, it's gonna give you anything on the screen. If you hit track, anything on track and so on. So I hit screen, now I can control all this my end times and all that. 
I'm not going to blow my poor camera on all this. I just wanted to give the answer. Yes, you can record and save your performance. You're not going to sit there and just uh, launch clips and not be able to save it. So as far as exporting it onto a USB drive and everything like that, I haven't tried that. But yeah, you can save it. So right on. I appreciate you guys. And I got a lot of stuff to do on the MPCX. Uh, I've been messing with how to import, you know, everything that I play off of this into it and assigning it to clips on the MPC. And it's kind of cool, man. It's kind of cool. I'm going to go through a little bit more about this, but this is one that I had to question. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop what I'm doing and get into it. But yeah, you can process this, chop it. I really want to show more, but I need my better camera for that. So right on, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys very much. You know how I feel about my subscribers and my supporters and the people that are watching, man. I'm going to keep on going with this thing. So if you're curious about the workflow on that and you have any questions like that, feel free to hit me up, leave a comment. And um, I do take constructive criticism very well. So if you know like the dude was like bad comparison on the on the video they're very two separate machines and they are and uh, i do pay my respect to both of these very unique boxes but right on guys i'll holler at you later